Why should a person talk to Jeremy and Keller Williams? Like I said before, you know, he's been there. He has sweat equity in the game. He understands what it's like to start from scratch. A lot of people just, you know, they bring you in and then, you know, you're fed to the wolves. That's not how Jeremy operates. He is not going to have you come on his team if he doesn't want you to succeed. He's going to push you. Jeremy's impact on me and, and uh, the office, the culture of the office, I think that coming into an office where there are highly successful people doing a lot of business, um, it's going to motivate somebody and it's going to really kind of speed up the process of being successful in real estate. Why should a person talk to Jeremy? I mean, for all the reasons that I just listed, I think, you know, he's a great motivator. Uh, he cares about uh, cares about working with you and, and creating, uh, helping you create a better future for yourself. He knows what he's doing. I mean, the guy used to sell like 400 units a year, so you can't argue with that. Why people should talk to Jeremy is because he's a huge support, you know. He, he will always take care of you. So when he says to you that he'll do whatever he can to have your back and make sure he grows your business, he really does guarantee that. He, he backs that guarantee. Somebody should talk to Jeremy or Keller Williams Philly if they're looking to propel their business to another level. The reason why someone should talk to Jeremy is pretty much the same reason why I did. Um, you know, you, you interview with a lot of different brokerages, but he is an honest person, a very straight shooter. Why would you want to talk to KW or Jeremy or, or this office? Um, I think it's something that if you're looking to just get into sales of real estate, uh, it's a great place to learn, uh, to network. What it's unique about KW is their systems and structures are set to build your business and it takes you from being an individual agent um, and growing your business that way if you wanted to or there's also a track for being on a team and growing your business that way. Um, you should definitely talk to Jeremy about KW and about real estate because he really is instrumental and he's serious about helping people. You should talk to Jeremy and Keller Williams. I mean Jeremy is just someone who's really good at figuring out what is best for you and your future. I've known Jeremy for three years and what I've really enjoyed learning from him is always always prepare for objections, <laughs> master those and always keep uh, um, you know contacting people and, and being in front of people as a real estate agent. A great quote that he always tells me that I love is don't be a secret agent, be a real estate agent. Um, so what have I learned or enjoyed um, from Jeremy? First and foremost, so I met Jeremy before I was at KW when I was still at Cobalt Banker Preferred. And the first thing that really like stuck that pushed my business forward was real estate's a numbers game. And so he really helped me backtrack from, all right, what are my yearly goals in terms of sales volume? How many deals do I have to do on a monthly basis? I have seen Jeremy um, from the beginning, from when he started his business in real estate. The biggest thing that I've, I've learned from Jeremy is Having financial freedom in real estate is, is where to be. Be in charge of your own destiny and to do it with the process. I really met Jeremy working at another brokerage um, where he recruited me and uh, having Jeremy on your team, you have a highly energetic, motivated salesperson. So before I met Jeremy, I was working for a leasing company up in, uh, in North Philadelphia around Temple. I did, um, you know, $1,500 apartment leases where I was getting 50%. And Jeremy kind of saw that talent and reached out to me and said, hey man, come in for a meeting. Let's see if we can take your business to the next level. And we went from, you know, leasing a couple apartments to, I think we had 26 listings in our first three or four months. We started to work with builders and investors. And we did, between the two of us, 12 million in sales that year. What I like about Jeremy is he is a salesperson. He's not a guy that didn't do it, did, wasn't a producer. He actually is a producer and he knows sales. Like Jeremy can sell you, uh, like he's like the, the water to a whale type of guy. He, he has a technique, a skill set, and a strategy for implementing desired results. So if you're working with Jeremy, um, you're gonna be dealing with a person who's a sales focused professional. 
Most importantly, the things I've learned from Jeremy would be a lot of the tech stuff and social media, staying really relevant um, out here in the social media world so that people actually see that you are in business because so often you're doing a lot of business but people may not recognize it because you're not advertising your own self. So Jeremy's been very, very good at um, helping me with that. I've learned from Jeremy to kind of move on blind faith. Sometimes you build up the fear of doing something when you really just need to go out and do it and keep doing it and don't worry about the results as long as you're taking the action. You know, I've kind of learned from the way Jeremy leads and how productive he is and saw that and was like, all right, if Jeremy's doing that successfully, then I just need to duplicate it. You know, he's just a super motivating guy to be around. Um, especially in the office and he's always pushing everyone to be a better person so I think you need a few people like Jeremy in your life.